My granddad, my dad's dad, had a job working for a man named Mr. Carlton of the Highline Canal Company, and they dug ditches for water diversion. Back then in the 30s and the 20s, they were just thinking about water diversion. So what they do is they take all of the water from the west side where all the snow and water is, divert it over to the east side of the divide, like here, and down to the front range where all the people are. So because my granddad did that, um, they lived at the Carlton Tunnel, which is on the west side of Turquoise Lake, just below Hagerman Pass. In the summertime, in the wintertime, with the snow like this, they couldn't live there, but they'd have to ski up from town, up to the Carlton Tunnel, up over the top of Hagerman and down to Ivanhoe Lake once a month to get the water readings. They do that all now by radio frequency, but back then they had to ski. So that's how my dad actually got into skiing. So you want to pull it a little at a time. Don't try to grab way over all the way. Open or close. Lift, press here, pull that strap out. Lift, press, and pull. On this, you just hold that. Back so then, there weren't alpine and cross country and back country and all the different variants of skiing. There was this one. So when he was in high school, he told his dad that he wanted his own pair of skis. And there was a race coming up and he wanted to be in that race. And my granddad told my dad, if you win that race, I'll buy you a pair of skis. Well, he did, and that's where it started. So when he left high school and went into the army, all of his paychecks got sent back to his mom, my grandmother, in the hopes that when he got out of the army, he had enough money to start a ski shop. So in 1945, when he got out of the army, he uh, took all that money and started a ski shop downtown. Look at that, that line, and you see those numbers? Mm -hmm. Okay, set it where you want it. 